I have been watching the PCOB press releases, the deficiency rate in particular got a lot of attention last year. And it is very high. It looks high. 46% of audits, almost half of audits reviewed in the 2023 inspection cycle contained at least one significant deficiency, and that's up from 40% in 2022. And that rose from 34% in 2021 and 29% in 2020. So we went from a 29% deficiency rate in 2020 to a 46% deficiency rate in 2023. And according to the PCOB's own definition, the deficiencies in these audits are so severe that, quote, the audit firm had not obtained sufficient appropriate audit evidence to support its opinion, unquote. So when I read that, that to me sounds like the auditor should not have issued the opinion in close to half of the audits that were inspected. Help me understand this. Yes. So I have spoken on that. In fact, I have been accused for downplaying our deficiency, the state of audit quality by saying this. In fact, I think it's important. I at The definition you read, that was right. But it's also equally important when you read our disclaimer, which says, if we include a Part 1A or Part 1B deficiency in this report, other than those deficiencies for audits with incorrect opinion on the financial statements, it does not not necessarily mean that the issuer's financial statements are materially misstated or that undisclosed material weaknesses in ICFR exist. 